Well, hi everyone, Mr. Mice here out on the West Coast and back with another video. Um, just a short video this time and I will really make a conscious effort to uh, upload a bit more regular. I've just been super busy with so many things going on. Um, I, this video though, I just want to mention what a great show the Knife Show was recently. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, so it was here in Fremantle at the Esplanade Hotel. Well, here I am at the um, Perth Knife Show. Um, quite a good turnout. A few people here I've followed on YouTube, uh, like Dom over there. I spoke to him and Bruce Barnett uh, from Bridgetown. So um, it's been a really good show so far. And um, bought a few supplies. So, hey, if you're in Perth next year, come to the knife show. I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. So the show was very successful, I believe. Um, very busy. Um, as busy as it could be in Perth, I don't know what the numbers were, but uh, so the exhibitors there were displaying some awesome knives they've made and techniques that uh, I can only dream of for now. But um, yeah, I went there on the Saturday and um, seriously, I met Dom from DB Blades. I met him a couple of years ago. I've been following uh, his YouTube channel for quite some time. He's an awesome knife maker and um, honestly, I got there at about 11.30. And this year I believe he's going to be um, concentrating on um, folders. The folders that he did make, I was interested to pick up a folder, but he'd sold them all by, on a Saturday by uh, 11.30. So he had one left, which just goes to show how popular uh, his knives are. I met up with Bruce Barnett, as, uh, at the moment I think he's the uh, Secretary of the Australian Knife Makers Guild. Um, had a good, good old chat to him and talked to him about some of his um, classes he holds, so he may well see me down. Uh, in Bridgetown doing one of his courses at some point soon um, and all the other guys were just really awesome. Met up with Sam Towns Bladesmith who's a pretty awesome knife maker in Perth and uh, had some great knives on show. Um, he's got a YouTube channel I think he uploads twice a week so you know maybe check him out. Um, what else? So I'm going to show you a couple of short film clips. Uh, they had a like a Japanese um, sword fighting display. I picked up a couple of knives while I was there. Uh, honestly, I could have spent so much money, but I just couldn't. Now, one knife I was wanted was an Opinel. So here it is. This is number eight. Opinel. Made in France. And, you know, if you know about Opinel, it's got this uh, double sort of twisting ferrule on here, which uh, locks the knife. So it locks it closed and locks it open and it's really really sharp I can tell you. So I'm really pleased with that little knife. This is an unusual thing too. This is also a French made knife. i uh, never seen anything like it. It's just a, uh, I guess you call it a, a frame lock I suppose, but it's almost nothing to it. Here it is and it's been um, etched laser etched I think it is with this uh, geometric uh, block pattern on there but look at it it's as light as a feather it is extremely sharp um, stainless steel um, who makes this one I think it says DJ on there but I just wanted to buy it because I'm now I'm a bit of a collector so I just collect unusual knives as well so, so there you go it's just a very quick video about the Perth knife show so I'll leave you with these uh, photos and a um, couple of film clips.
But there you go. Birth Knife Show. Can't wait till next year. See you soon.